self-portrait I made for my AP art class in high school. It's a depiction of myself releasing my voice through art, despite how society tries to bring me down. It's easy to feel like you're drowning when people tell you who you're meant to be and what you're capable of achieving in life. I believe that nowadays we're often afraid to be ourselves because naturally, when you don't fit society's mold, it's easy to feel isolated, like you don't belong. You lose the ability to be your true self and consequently forget to listen to yourself. The reality is that you must follow and trust your inner voice because only when you liberate it, can you find success? I had to find the courage within myself to express my authentic voice, which I did through art, and I believe this is what has led me to where I am today. You see, I was born in London, lived in Milan, and spent most of my life in Geneva, until I moved to the US nine years ago. However, I'm only the second generation in my family to live out of the Middle East. I come from a line of Jews from Lebanon, Egypt, Iraq, and Sudan, and as a result, I grew up surrounded by many languages, including English, French, Spanish, Italian, German, Arabic, and Hebrew. From a young age, I learned that I was different. Everywhere I've lived, I've been an immigrant. And in my early years, I was also bullied in many areas of my life, whether it was at school or with family friends or even by one of my neighbors. I just couldn't escape it. This further and quite literally suppressed my voice. I became this shy and quiet little girl who didn't have too many friends. And for a long time, people told me that being shy was a bad thing and it would stop me from moving up in life. I also faced a lot of anti-Semitism. So I was taught from a young age to hide my Jewish identity, an integral part of who I am. It emphasized for me that I was not like everyone else. I just couldn't fit in. An aspect of my identity that felt safest to embrace was art. And for as long as I can remember, I've always loved art and I've always been creative. It began with me drawing a lot to me making things using unconventional materials. For instance, when I was six, I used to recycle empty plastic bottles and paper towels to make dolls. I'd also paint, sew, knit, crochet, the list goes on. You know that movie Ratatouille? If not, it's an animated film about a rat named Remy who lives in the sewers of Paris and he dreams of becoming a chef. He's different from the other rats because he has a keen taste, sense of taste and smell and he loves to cook. There's a scene in the film where Remy eats food and his taste buds go absolutely wild. This is how I feel when I make art. When I was introduced to computers, I explored other art forms like graphic design and even 3D computer animation. And the latter really captivated me. I explored it further in a pre-college program after my junior year of high school. And when I was there, I watched a bunch of student films and I learned that animation is a powerful medium to tell stories that transcend age, time, cultural backgrounds, and even words. I love the idea of telling a story through a world and characters that don't exist, but yet make us believe they do. I mean, come on, Pixar made us emotionally connect to a rat. This inspired me to go to the School of Visual Arts in New York City to chase my childhood dream of working for Pixar. Since art as a career has unfortunately been stigmatized in our society, and since in high school I was very much an academic, people told me I was wasting my intelligence, I could be much more successful as a lawyer or perhaps a linguist. Like Remy from Ratatouille, people around me just didn't get my unconventional path. We both did not fit the mold of our surroundings and we felt we didn't belong. That is, until we listened to ourselves and followed our passions. Like I said earlier, when you follow and trust your inner voice, you are able to liberate it and achieve success. You have to find the courage to express your authentic self through whatever medium makes you see fireworks. In college, I worked day and night to hone my craft. I took on personal projects, watched YouTube tutorials to learn new skills, as well as collaborated on short films as early as my freshman year. I even pushed myself out of my comfort zone and went to networking events by myself. Soon, I became a leader in, for the Women in Animation chapter at my school to help bring more opportunities and help empower women around me. It was then that I started to build my self-confidence and really started using my voice. I realized animation was my calling and I wanted to make movies to impact the world to be a better place. 
In my senior year, I directed and made my own short film, Khamsa, which in a way was a self-portrait where I shared a piece of myself with the world. I had many fears about sharing it, but after it was out in the open, I got a flood of messages from people thanking me for doing so. I learned that by sharing my authentic voice and being vulnerable, I was more relatable than I thought. Thankfully, my film won many awards, including a Student Academy Award, as well as a nomination for the world-renowned Cannes Film Festival, among others. And now that all my hard work and risk-taking paid off, I get to work for Disney and Pixar as a lead character artist with a team of talented people who make char memorable characters for billions, around, billions of people around the world to hopefully meet and hopefully make someone feel a little less alone. Remember those dolls I used to make with plastic bottles? Now, I make them in the computer, like this. I get to make key decisions on the diversity of our characters, giving a voice to not just myself, but others too. And ironically enough, this year I made the main character for one of Pixar's upcoming films, Elio, a story about a boy who doesn't fit in, just like me as a kid. So, what's my authentic voice? I'm no longer the little girl who was too shy to speak. I'm a confident young woman living her life living her childhood dream, and I found my voice during the, using the visual language of storytelling called animation. I learned that following and nurturing my inner voice was an essential key that brought me success. And now I'm in a position to help lift, uplift other voices and create a space for others to be heard and grow. So if you're someone who feels like you don't belong, or you're suppressing your voice, or that your dreams are too, too out of reach, think for a moment. What makes you feel like this? Find your spark and follow that inner voice of yours. What can you share with the world about yourself? Perhaps it's through art like me or cooking like Remy, or maybe it's music or writing or some other form of self-expression. Find the courage to run after what you want despite the negative voices around you. Build a space for your authentic voice to be heard and grow. Put in the work, watch tutorials, take summer classes, Ask people for advice, and most importantly, push yourself out of your comfort zone so that you can liberate your own voice too. Thank you.